<laughs> Go. All right. This is the llama. Her name's Tina. She will live for about 20 years. Um, her diet consists of hay and grain with apples and carrots for treats. She needs little water and can last a long time with, with little water. Taking a closer look at the digestive system, um, we can tell that llamas are ruminant animals, which means that they have four compartments to her stomach. These parts are the rumen, abomasum, abomasum, and reticulum. Moving to the re reproductive system, <laughs> the llama is the llama has a very unusual reproductive system for being such a large animal. The females are induced ovulators, which means that the females release an egg, which is often which is often fertilized the first time the first time it's attempted. Like humans, both genders <laughs> mature at different <laughs> rates. Um, females take about 12 months and males take about three years. Once the baby llama is born, it is called a crisis. Crisis. Um, some health issues related to the llamas um, are some co congenital and inherited ad adnormal <laughs> abnormal <laughs> say it abnormalities abnormalities <laughs> <laughs> llamas um, have few congenital abnormalities stop due to their <laughs> small gene pool <sighs> both cardiac uh, but cardiac defects are relatively common. Some muscular skeletal defects include syndactyla and polydactyla. Um, now some fun facts. The llama's ears are shaped like bananas, as you can tell. And uh, they can eat up to six to seven pounds of hay or grass and or grass each day. Wow! Tina, turn around. Wow, Tina, turn around. Tina, turn around. Tina, turn around. <sighs>